Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. In this tutorial video we are going to set up a fixed wing model in the Radio Master Pocket Radio. We're going to be using two servos for the ailerons, one in each wing, and we're going to be setting up what I call a safe throttle. Now it's as safe as it can be. It can help you stop accidentally arming the motor and having that prop swinging around or going flying off. Obviously with a petrol or a nitro motor you would know because you have to, you have to start it up. But this, you could accidentally start the motor up and it could um, accidentally go flying forward. So let's switch over to the radio and I will show you how to set this up. Now let's take a look at the settings on our radio. Right, let me just do this. Okay, so to open up a new model, we're going to go into our models. We are just going to click and say create a model. That is going to make a default model with four channels and four mixes. Now, what we then need to do is add what I'm going to show you here. So, first thing, we're going to have a look, take a look at the setup screen. So, I put the name, you could put the name of your aeroplane in there. Now, I set up a timer. So, this is activated by the throttle. So, it's THS. You've got, you've got different options in there that you can select. Uh, like start or throttle percentage, but we're going to go with uh, throttle S, throttle start. This is logical switch 2, that's what's setting this off, and I'll show you what that is a bit later. And then we've, we've set the timer up, I've set it for 2 minutes, and it will leave the remaining time when it stops. So, and I've got a minute countdown. Obviously, normally this will be set up to like 4 or 5, 6 minutes. And a countdown, I have a voice to the last 10 seconds. We've got two more timers there that we can use. But the bit I really need to just go down and show you is the interior or exterior modules. So we will need to turn our internal RF on. And we click it, enter and go crossfire. And there we go. Now we've got lots of other features. I'm going to go into those here. But there's features that we can turn off, but we for, to set up a basic model, we don't need to do that. Right, let's go across. Now, nothing in flight modes. We're going to deal with those some of the time. Then you've got your inputs, and you can see there's one, two, three, four of those. That's the aileron, elevator, throttle, and rudder. Now we move on to our mixes, and you can see our mixes. I've added a channel on number five for the second aileron. Now, all you would do there is we're going to push enter, we are going to go down where it says max and we're going to move the aileron control and we leave it at 100%. Now it is possible this will be changed to a minus 100 because of the way the servos are installed in the aeroplane. But if we go back, let's have a look, Oops, return and you can see it's a duplicate. So we need to do what I've just done there on channel 5. Now I'm just going to push enter and I'm going to clear, delete that channel we don't need so let's have a look at the safe throttle so if we go into the first line you can see the the input uh, the source's input throttle it's a hundred uh, which is a standard weight no offset and uh, the trim will be default now this is all default except for the logical switch two, which we're going to come on to in just a moment so we would then select the switch, logical switch two. And we're gonna come out. We're gonna to go to our next line and we're gonna edit. And in here, so I'm gonna show you how to add a line in just a second. So our source is input throttle, our weight 100%. Then we've got to pick curve and a custom curve and that's the cut curve that we're gonna make in a minute. So you'll change this to custom and it will show you the curve which we called cut. That will be that. Then we've got to go to the switch, and this is going to be not logical switch two. That's why it's got an exclamation mark. It means not that one. Okay. And that is everything. Okay, right now we're going to go out. And let me just show you how to add a line. So let's say we're going to add a line into this aileron, which maybe we're going to do dual rates, which we'll again, we'll have a video in the future about that. If we push and hold the enter button, we can say insert after. And if I come back out now, you'll see 
the channel five as an extra line, which of course we don't actually need. I just wanted to show you that's how we do that to get the extra throttle line. So I'm just going to remove that. And there we go, that's our mixes. So we're going to move over to outputs. We'll put nothing in there. The cut, the cut curve. Now this is, let me show you the curve. We're going to go in there and you can see I've changed it to two points and I've lowered the curve to the, the baseline. So it's, you can see it's minus 100, minus 100 for both of the X and Y axes. So if we come, let me just check. I just named it cut so we'd know what it's called. And if we come out of here, now let me show you how to make that curve. If you see, if we go up, you can see what's happening to the line, the curve line, it's dropping. So if we go on to curve two, and I would then name it, I'm then gonna go down to counts, and that would have been five. We would change it to two. Then we click enter, and then we go down until we get there. If we click enter, we can now drag that curve right down to the bottom. Then move over, and you can see the square highlight the point. And again, we can scroll it down to the bottom. So there's our curve. Let's move over. Now, in the logical switches, these logical switches are needed to be able to set up the safe throttle. So I'm going to push enter here on the first line. Now this, you can see our function is A is smaller than X, where A is the throttle stick itself. That's important. It has to be the stick, not the input. And then we have to put minus 98 in V2. And that's everything we need to do in there. Then we go on to our second line of that logical switch. It's function OR, and it's logical switch one, logical switch two, then our armed switch, which is this one, 0.5 of a second. So this operates correctly. So if you just follow those instructions, you should be good. And we're gonna come out. Now we're gonna go over to the special functions. Now the special functions allow me to have sound. So I'm gonna, I may have to turn the volume up, which will make the, so if I click armed and disarmed. Now they are easy to do to reset the timer we have to select a switch for the timer, which you can see there. And SF being pushed down will reset. So that should be this one. Oh, whoops, the daisy, this one. So that's resetting. Let me turn the volume back up again so you can hear. So that resets our timer. So you click, cl click the switch by cl clicking enter and then pushing the switch you want to use. Your option you're gonna choose is reset and then you're going to select timer one and then you're going to activate it by pushing that square. See, if we click the switch, it tells you you've reset it, just you get an audible warning. Then we've got the armed and disarmed sound, which again, select the switch, A down, play track, armed, and then you'll do the opposite way of the switch to switch um, forward and that play track, disarm. And we will go through telemetry at another, in another video. And that is basically it. That's everything you need to do to set up a fixed wing aeroplane. Now let me demonstrate the safe throttle. I'm just going to go to our channels there. So at the moment we are disarmed. So you see channel three is not moving. Now if I pull down an arm and you can see now the throttle is working. Now if I push the throttle forward, disarm, and then arm again, you notice the throttle stays off. Now to get the, to arm, if I go down quickly, nothing will happen. I have to go down and stay there, and now it, the throttle will work again. So there we go. That's how the safe throttle works. Please ensure that you check your model settings thoroughly before arming or flying your model. There we go. That shows you how to set up a fixed wing model in your Radio Master Pocket Radio. Well, I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below because I would love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.